Remember that big box I was printing? Well, if you guessed a UV cure box, you are correct. This was my custom UV cure box project that I finally finished. And I wanted to have something that had a power switch in it, which is what that little port there is for, rather than having to plug and unplug in my plastic tub right now of a UV box. I wanted something that could be plugged in all the time that I could just flip the switch. It does take a long time to print. But once it's printed, I got the lid and the bottom. I also wanted to have some plexiglass to put in the bottom so that I could have an all-around cure so I could have LED lights in the bottom, the sides, and the top. So I make a quick tracing and then ever so slowly cut it out with my Dremel tool, which probably isn't the best way to do it, but that's what I had, so that's how I did it. I'm cutting on the inside of my line because I traced the outside and obviously this is going on the inside. It's going to need some more sanding and things once it's completely cut out, but I do my best to just cut the rough shape out first and then I use a power sander to sand it down after marking where my power ports and the hinges are just so that it's easier to get down inside the box. And when I first do a little run of trying to slide it in there, you don't really need those deep of grooves for the hinges, but that's what I did and it's not that big of a hindrance. And I was going to put in two UV light strips, but found that it fit just fine with one. And I didn't want to have to figure out how to do two different power supplies combined to power it because when I put the two together, the one was actually less powerful. So one is good. But if you want to do two, go ahead and do whatever you want to do. The pins for the hinge are a really tight fit even after sanding for a little bit. It takes quite a bit of force to get them in there. The first one went in okay, but the second one I had to struggle with and I even tried using some pliers to try and squeeze it in there because, you know, me and my weak geek muscles can't just push that in there. And I ended up actually, well, breaking it, of course. And then after I broke it, I tried to pull it out, couldn't pull it out, tried to pull it out with pliers, broke it some more. So I was like, past the point of no return, it's gotta go in there. So I forced it and in it went. And good enough because the hinge works. The design that I borrowed also has a clasp that is supposed to snap shut. Where it's this large, it doesn't really fit together all that well. I mean, I could get it to snap closed, but then it'd be really hard to get open as well. So I just figured I would just leave it. I mean, the hinge is tight enough that you can just leave it closed or open without having to really worry about clasping it. So I didn't. Moving on to the lights, I cut off the ends of both the light strip and the power supply. Each one has a black and a red wire. And then I went ahead and placed my LED lights how I wanted them as best I could. It doesn't really turn corners very well, but it worked good enough. And like I said before, I was able to get it to work with just one strip. While I put that in there, let me tell you about some really cool, awesome people, the supporters. Thank you so much for everything that you do and for your donations. If you too would like to donate, just go to ko-fi.com forward slash geek happens and throw me a buck or two just one time only or go ahead and subscribe for a membership if you'd like to get uh, access to my 3D models and other goodies. This model will also be available on Thingiverse and I will include that link in the description. Thank you also to viewers. You are awesome. I also had a little bit of extra on the lights, so I just cut the end off and then went to the power supply, made sure that I had all my wires stripped and ready to put onto my power switch. I went ahead and did the first one. I tried to do it on the outside of the box, but the cord was a little bit too short, so I had to pull it in and pop it into the box, and then I was able to do it more easily from inside of the box. So something to think about when you put yours together if you want to make one. I solder all of my wires onto the pins. Just make sure that you check the diagram on whatever kind of a switch you get. But when I do mine, I'll show you this is how I wired it. Power supply on the outside with the light in the middle. Both of the negative wires on the gold pin on the other side. And then I go ahead and put the wires underneath where I just soldered it there to try to 
kind of make it nice and neat and able to put in my plexiglass on top of that. And then of course I plug it in to make sure it works. Yes, success on and off switch. No more plug and unplug. So now that it works and everything is in place how I want it, I use glue to have an extra support as it were because the natural sticky stuff on the back of the strip tends to come up, which is what happened on my other one that is held together with duct tape. So there you go. Using glue, just use some spray to instantly hold it, makes it really nice. And then on the back so that this doesn't get tugged out or in, I put some glue to hold the cord in place as well. So now onto the hard part, putting the plexiglass in. I should have probably sanded mine a little bit more. It was a really tight fit and I didn't want to squish the lights down and so it took a little bit of finagling to get it in there and it isn't exactly straight but it works well enough and it'll hold my minis and I can cure it all in one go without having to rotate it or anything like that as it has all the sides and the bottom really doesn't need as much curing as the rest anyway since the bottom is what was cured the most on the build plate. So for me this works perfectly fine. If you want to make some modifications to yours go ahead and do so. I'm sure you guys are awesome and will make an excellent cure box. I wanted this to be big enough to cure a really big print from the Sonic Mighty in one go and that will do that. I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you. If you liked it, go ahead and click that thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.